Over the last month, energy stocks have been trading at historical lows, and if you don't own shares of ExxonMobil already, now might be the good opportunity to start jumping in. I'll be sharing with you the current positions that I have on ExxonMobil and why there is such a massive growth opportunity. I'll also be giving you at the end of this video my dividend spreadsheet where you can track your positions and see which stock pay the most dividends. And if at any point you find this video interesting and helpful and you'd like to see more videos like this one where I review some stocks, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's free, it supports me a lot and you can always unsubscribe later. But first and foremost, let's look at ExxonMobil itself. Let's try to understand what is that stock about. ExxonMobil is one of the world's largest oil and gas company. It traces its start to an oil refining business started by John D. Rockefeller. Yes, the same John D. Rockefeller that you must have heard about. It originally started in 1863 in Cleveland, Ohio. It all first started under the name of Standard Oil Company. And in the span of 10 years only, by 1880, the Standard Oil Company had grown into an oil empire controlling between 90% and 95% of all oil produced in the US. In nowadays terms, we call that a monopoly. And that's what companies like Google, Facebook and Apple are actually facing right now. But in 1911, the US government ordered the company to divest its major holdings. One of those holdings was the Standard Oil Company of New York, which eventually became Mobile Oil Corp in 1966. Another was the Standard Oil Company of New Jersey, which was renamed Exxon Corp in 1972. The two companies merged in 1999 to become what we know Exxon Mobil Corp. Today, ExxonMobil is the world's second largest public energy company with a market capitalization of about $175 billion and posted a revenue of $255 billion in 2019. ExxonMobil's main business operations, which are conducted through its divisions and affiliate companies, consist of the exploration and production of crude oil and natural gas. Currently, ExxonMobil is trading at $42 per share. And now that you understand a bit more about the history behind ExxonMobil and how it actually became ExxonMobil itself, let me explain why $42 per share is really low and why you need to start buying some shares right now. Not sure if you noticed, but there has been a pandemic in 2020 and one of the best ways to reduce the number of infections between the population is to make sure that the same population doesn't get in contact with each other. And because so many restrictions have been put in place as to avoid more infections, most people in the world are not moving right now, making the demand for oil dropping like crazy, pushing the oil prices down. Philip Velger, an oil economist, has said that the drop in prices is similar to the crash in 1929. And on top of having restrictions, oil suppliers go out of storage meaning they literally don't know where to store the crude oil that they're actually pumping right now, forcing suppliers to stop pumping, causing oil prices to go down even further. So there is a double negative effect here. On top of seeing the travel industry stop and so having the demand for oil actually decrease, crude oil suppliers are actually running out of storage, making the production of oil stop and so pushing the oil prices even lower. As a result, ExxonMobil fell to $31 per share at its lowest, when it was trading mid-2019 at $73 per share, a drop of 57%. Now that we start having some hopes for effective vaccines, the stock price reacted quite well to those news, going from $32 per share to $40 per share in the span of a few days. And it's not only ExxonMobil that reacted to the vaccine news. ExxonMobil competitors did that too. Chevron also went from $70 per share to $96 per share. Occidental Petroleum went from $9 per share to $17 per share, an increase of almost 100% in the span of a few days. So is it a buy? Well, in my humble opinion, it absolutely is. I believe that when the world will reopen again, an industry such as the travel industry, being the one the most affected by this pandemic, will start working again. It will have for effect to create more demand for oil, pushing the oil prices higher, probably to the levels that we used to have in 2019, for example. But it's not all, because on top of having the price of oil being historically low, creating an amazing buying opportunity, there is another opportunity lying ahead of you. 
ExxonMobil is part of the Dividend Aristocrat group, and if you don't know what a Dividend Aristocrat is, you can just watch my previous video where I talk about what is a Dividend Aristocrat. ExxonMobil has been paying dividends since 1911, and has started increasing them each and every single year since 1983. ExxonMobil is paying an annualized dividend per share of $3.48 representing a yield of 9% as I'm recording this video right now. Quite crazy, because literally the day before recording this video, the yield was at 9.44%, now it's around 9%. Currently, the yield is so high just because the price per share is so low, and if it was coming back to a trade price of $73 per share, for example, we would see the yield decreases to its previous levels, meaning that you almost get 10% of the stock price in terms of dividends per year, which is actually very, very good as a dividend yield. And even if the price of ExxonMobil doesn't go up, if you buy shares, you still enjoy the dividends which are quite substantial relative to the stock price, as we just saw before. Regarding my position, I have an average cost on ExxonMobil of $38.19, and ExxonMobil represents one of my biggest holdings, so obviously in this analysis, I'm biased. Also, some of you have asked for my dividend spreadsheet, so you can track your position, and here it is. You can input your positions, you just need to put the ticker in the sector, the number of shares bought, and the average cost, and the rest is filled automatically. You have the dividend yield, the annual dividend, and the dividend per quarter that is filled automatically. You also have graphs to help you understand how your positions relative to your whole portfolio. You can see the holding percentage relative to your whole portfolio, but also in terms of allocation per sector. It took me quite a while to find those formulas to get the dividend deal, for example. So before downloading it, if you like it, please consider liking that video and subscribing to my channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. On the second tab, you can track your dividend payments. And on the third tab, you have included the current list of the dividend aristocrats, and you can filter them by dividend yield, for example, annual dividends. So you can see for yourself what's best, very useful if you want to focus on high dividend stocks, for example. If you've been watching until the end, I really thank you very much. I really hope that you enjoyed this Exxon Mobile analysis. If you've got any stock that you'd like me to review in more details, please comment it below. I'll be happy to review any stock you'd like me to review. Please make good and informed decisions. I wish you all the best and I'll see you in the next video.